Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to There Is No Game. Uh, so in this program, that definitely isn't a game. The game, the, the program wants you to leave all the time. Hence, it wants me to click on this exit. But no, we are going to be continuing. And if you remember last time, we sort of, we just lost the floor. A huge black hole opened. Uh, so let's go around the front of this screen. Yeah, the ground isn't there anymore. Uh, so I guess we should go down and see what's down there. Oh no, there's Sherlock Holmes and Watson. Right, so we got to save these guys before. Before we move on now, actually let's have a look what if we look around the back of the screen because remember we're looking through the gate the non-game portal screen thing so this is the back of it uh, there's a man oh is that the one that we could can we knock that oh the manhole cover doesn't want to move from that side okay so let's move around to the front so if i knock it from here what if we use the glitch what if we lick it with this oh i can't remember how you do this all right so what if we head back up we have a little look around what if we go oh yeah what if we go down here so this was like in the building do you remember this was like the dev room is that the manhole on the right it is let's give it let's give it a knock boosh oh look okay so if we go out there now yeah right so these characters they won't go through because they're saying there's nothing to catch them on this side uh, so can i like flip the bathtub somehow what if i give that no i can't give it a knock yeah i glitched it i glitched it so now it's upside down so now all right they're jumping three wait oh they did it they did it okay so now we're being sucked into another dimension because that's sort of what this game i mean non-game is now we have another loading screen there you go the legend of the secret okay well in this situation i guess you press start right all right so, oh look it's like pokemon i mean i know pokemon was based on lots of other rpg games but to me pokemon is the original all right so our guys just tried to wake up the hero he won't wake up i guess i guess i gotta give him a prod there is a home button above i feel like that might crush him though like what what actually is that I'm knocking it, whatever it is. Get down. Boosh. There you go. That woke him up. Earthquake. That voice is the spirit of get. You've got a pretty deep voice for a goddess. Oh, thank you. The princess is in danger, abducted by the infamous Dark Lord. I feel like we might be in a game now. Oh, we've got to find the 12 sacred feathers. Uh, and slay eight ticklish what? <laughs> and 50 sun. Oh, RPGs. Oh, no. Is he locked in? The door's locked. Oh, poop. Oh, you got to find a key. All right, oh, I see the key. There, look, there's keys up there, mate. I can literally see it. How do I get? How do I tell him to go to it? Look, go up here, you knob. He's going to it. He's going into it no that's a pot there you go look i can use can i use the home thing can i boosh there you go if i just keep booshing <laughs> boosh <laughs> i'm destroying this guy's house oh what the hell a chest fell out that's grandpa's chest all right you opened it oh it's a hammer okay so he's just giving us the hammer we've got the hammer it's like it's sort of glitching out though so i don't know if that means if i hammer stuff yeah look so that drawer's now smaller so we can see the key all right so quickly hit the dresser as he comes over to the key and then he's got the key nice i can't reach it what you oh you're so <laughs> okay what if i what if i hit it twice does that mean he can step on it what if i make the key smaller and then drop it like that come on give it a boost give it a bo oh i thought boosting might knock it off the wall but it hasn't what if i hit him oh no now he's tiny <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, right. He's back to normal size. So I've got to make the dresser smaller. Then the key smaller. What else can I make smaller? The chest, his bed, the barrel. I feel like it's got to be something to do with that. What if I what if I make the chest smaller? And then I do that so he jumps. Yeah, there you go. You got the key. Do you see that? We got the key. All right, so he's going to open the door so we can get out. I'm going to assume the key is going to be too big, is it? The key doesn't fit in the lock. It's too big. Oh, I am a genius. Right. Let me hit the key. There you go, mate. So small key. He's out. So now we're outside. Oh, it is like Pokemon. <laughs> the path to the temple is blocked by these bushes. So yeah, we've got to find, we've got to find Bulbasaur so we can cut it down. Trust me, I've played this game before. Okay, so we're going to go find some sort of life. Or oh, I just fell down a hole. <laughs> oh, and then he wakes up again. Because that's what happens when you die in RPGs. Okay, right. So he's going back out. I'm wondering, do I need to use this stone thing to make him jump? Yeah, so I'm going to drop it. Now. Oh, no, I made it fall down. <laughs> I thought I was going to fling him over. <laughs> I feel like I did a bit of manslaughter there. It won't get me this time. Okay, okay. Let's leave him to it this time. Oh, can't I just shrink the hole? No, I can't shrink the hole. Don't go falling in that hole again. The, the hero's forgotten about the hole already. All right, so we've got to find something to cover the hole. So I'm just clicking that dude. Oh, look. So these are all the things we've got to find, right? I can't just shove that over it, can I? No, I can't. All right, so let's go back in here. I mean, maybe we could use the map thing. So what if I... Oh, look, we got chomping teeth. Okay, can I... I made the sun smaller. Can I make all of these smaller? Yeah, okay, so can I make that smaller? Oh, there you go, look, we got it. Okay, so now we have that. Is that going to be a bridge? That's smart. We made a bridge. And I would do a bridge review, but it's just disappeared off screen. <laughs> 
All right, so we've been told the sword's over this side of the lake, but there's a palace underwater, and perhaps we need a amphibian skill to get to the bottom of it. Classic RPG stuff. I mean, I'll just get on the back of Lapras so we can just swim straight over. But right, so what are we doing now? I'm going to give everything a boost. Oh, it moved that lily. So is that just stuck there now? Oh, a chest. Oh, I thought I saw something jump. I saw something jump. It must have been a fish. It wasn't a fish. It was a chest. So give it a boost. Yeah, every time we boost, it gets... Oh, look. Okay, so if we can get that to land on the lily pad. Ready? How do I get the, oh, how do I get the lily pad to move to the right place? Let's just keep bumping. Oh, is it what side I'm on? Oh, it's what side I'm on. So I moved the lily pad to the, to the left. Now we've got the chest. It looks like the royal chest from the sunken palace. Ooh, what is that? What is it? The monocle. It belongs to the king of the abyss. It looks broken. Oh, okay. So we've got, we've got the monocle now. That's one of our items. As well as the hammer and that thing. So I can look at... St oh, does it make things bigger? Oh, so we just sunk the chest again because it got bigger. So we basically got two things. We got an enlarger and a shrinker. Uh, so if I enlarge a lily pad. Oh, there you go. There you go. So oh, it just shrunk. So a bit sketchy. But what if we enlarge that one and then enlarge the one he's on? Can he do a diagonal? No, he can't. Do we need to thump them? So they're in. Oh, they're not in line. All right, one more boost should do it because that one can't move. So now I enlarge that one and that one and then he should be able to get across nice then we can just thump it to the right and then we've made a lily bridge you know what that means oh not again <laughs> the game's moving too fast for these bridges i mean it's not a game the, the program's moving too fast all right so there is the sword unfortunately i think it's stuck in the ground all right so how can we help him out here i guess could i give it a boost Nah, that's not doing anything. Okay, what if we make... I made him bigger, so he should be stronger. What if we now give it a boost? Oh, right. Make him bigger. Give the ground a boost. Yeah, there you go. Look, it's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. Give it another boost. Yes, he's got it. And now he's shrunk. But the sword stays the same size because we only we only made him bigger so we could pull it out. Oh, he broke it. It means this isn't the sword of life because it broke. Oh, so we've got that sword now. All right, so is this just... Can I... Oh, I was going to say, can I cut grass with this? Apparently not. Um, oh, I do wonder, actually. This chompy thing. Could I sharpen it in there, maybe? So if I do that and then shove it in. Yeah, look. Wait, have I turned it into... I think I've turned it into a screwdriver. What if we What if we shrink it first and then shove it in? No. What if we enlarge and then shove it in? No. Okay, so we are we are just left with a screwdriver. Oh, look, look. The item up there. The the sword bar, the health bar thing. Look, it's a screw. It's a screw. So we can unscrew it. Yes. Nice. Is that the sword of life? Yes, we gave it to him. It's the magic sword of life or something. I'm telling you, getting a Bulbasaur using cut would be a lot easier than this. But it is the legendary sword of life. So yes, it cuts grass. Look at it go. Boosh. Okay, so now we can get back to our normal path. So we're going back down. Oh, we've got to do the lilies again. Oh, you silly boy. Wait, oh no, that's good. He wakes up in the house. Saves us a journey. There you go. There you go. He said he did it on purpose. I'm with you on that one. That was clever, mate. All right, so now we've got the sword. We should be able to slice through these bushes and then we can continue where we were going. Oh, right, who's this? He's one of the infamous Dark Lord's guards. All right, so let's see how good our sword is. Oh dear, it doesn't seem that good. Um, What if we enlarge him and then shrink you and then boost on this side? No, I was hoping it might push him in. All right, we're literally not doing any damage. Um, All right, let's have a look in the bag. Is there anything that might help us in here? What about a feather or a large sun? Oh, look, I made a sun patch down there. Interesting. So what does a large feather do? Can I drop it off? No, I can't. Um, well, let's close that. What else can I try? I mean, I could try the other way around. What if I make him small? And then, oh, look, he's small. He's getting pushed back. All right, so now we're fighting back there. Is that is that bad? What if I now make him large and you small? No, nothing. Okay. What if we make the enemy big? So that pushes us back. Make us small. Does that push us back even further? What if we then do the sun thing? So does that do you anything? Oh, I thought it might burn him or something. <laughs> Literally did nothing. Can I just push us off the screen? What if we go really far back? That's it. Keep pushing us. Keep pushing us. No, we're just stuck at this side of the screen now. Oh, wait. It's actually it's hitting the sun. I just realized it's hitting the sun. Oh, and it's hitting the feather as well. What if I help by boosting? Hey, look, it's hitting the feather. All right, the feather. We have a feather. Okay, so now he's moving back. Can I use the feather to, like, tickle him? No. If I shrink him, can I now tickle him? No. Uh, can I use a feather on this guy? Oh, I can. I'm tickling his nose. Oh, it's sneeze. Oh, is it going to sneeze the lily pad down? So another sneeze. Okay, so sneeze doing nothing. What if I enlarge him first? Oh, I shrunk him. I assume a small sneeze will do nothing. Yeah, pathetic. So let's enlarge and then tickle it with the feather. So that's going to be a big sneeze, right? Yes. So it moved the lily pad. And then if I enlarge the lily pad. No, that was the wrong one, Matt. That's definitely not enlarged. Yes. Okay, so he's moving to the lily pad. 
And then if I then if I make him bigger, he should sink. Yeah, the lily pad's gonna sink. All right, so what if I give it a boost now? Yes. <laughs> Straight into the water. All right, so now we just got to get across the lily pad. So we'll enlarge that. We can walk across. Sorted. We're actually going somewhere in this game. I mean, program. All right, so here's the temple we've been trying to get to. That's where the princess is. And the reason we're going there, we've been told there's like a dimensional thing in there. So that means we can jump to another game and then try and get home. Because that's what's happened. We're like jumping through game dimensions. All right, so he's going to go grab that bomb. And then I don't think you're running fast enough. I don't think you're running fast enough. I don't think you're running fast enough. That stings a little. Okay, okay, what if I make the bomb smaller? Because then he can run faster, right? Yes. Go, 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 go. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Why didn't you throw it? Okay, I'm going to make it bigger just because... <laughs> Ouch, it's heavy, he says. Ready? Boosh! It hurts. <laughs> can I shrink these barrels so he can get through? Then shrink the bomb. So can he take a shortcut? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Now make the bomb bigger. So it does a big explosion. Boosh. I assume I had to make the bomb bigger. Probably wouldn't have done anything if I didn't. All right. So we're in the dimensional temple. All right. So there's a switch on the floor there. He reckons it opens the door. No, it spawned snakes. No, don't wait for a minute for it to start. Look behind you. It wasn't the door switch. There's snakes. All right. I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's enlarge the snakes because I'm a horrible person. So three big snakes. Hero gets shrunk. <laughs> oh, no. I made it worse. So basically every time I make him jump, he presses the button again. More snakes appear. <laughs> it's just snakes for days. Sorry, I can't help myself. I'm just going to keep making him press that button so that the snakes keep on dropping. Oh, look, there is a snake on the other button. Okay, he's not big enough to boost it. But what if I make him big with the monocle and then boost it? So then he presses the button. Now, it went green, but was it cancelled out by that being red? So what if I shrink you, enlarge you, and then boost both of them? Yes, the door's opening. The door's opening. Get off the switch. Get off the switch. Oh, look, all the snakes disappeared as well. Oh, I'm a genius. He thinks he opened the door. All it took was patience. Um, yeah, there was another switch. Probably a trap. <laughs> Oh, man, this game. I mean, not game. All right, so this room is dark. He's afraid of the dark. Okay. So, oh, I know how to make I know how to make light, don't I? We can make the sun big. So if we do that, we have sun. I don't know how to move the sun, though. That is the only thing. We've got light in that corner, and that is it. Now, I can see there's a lily pad there. Can I boost it from this side? Yeah, look, that's moving it across. So we'll just keep boosting the ground. And now the lily pad's there. We should be able to enlarge that. And then when we put that in the sun. Oh, do you see that? When we put the monocle in the sun, it like glows. That's cool. Oh, no, look, I'm burning. I made, I set it on fire. Oh, that was actually really clever. Sweet. So if I enlarge that now, that makes a bigger fire. So then I can move it over this way. And then that will light the path for him. So it moved it back to there. So I want to enlarge and then stomp it on this side. And then he should just move into the light every time. Oh, this is actually quite good. Right, go on the, go on the switch. No, no, no. He's scared. He's scared. All right, I've lit it up. Go onto the switch. One more boost should do it. There we go. So that should make everything... Wait, what's it doing? We're back in the first room. Oh, it changed that. Ooh. We got the Zelda knockoff treasure music. All right, so in the meantime, I guess, do we try and lure him back? So can I make him move like more than one step? No, I can't. Okay, so we've got to go back to there. Then it'll move into it. Okay, right. We got him back to the first room. So there's new switches in here, it looks like. Okay, so he's... He's having a little press of all of them to see what they do. I imagine, do we need to press all of them at once or something? I don't know what the hero's doing. He's just going around in circles. <laughs> Let's make the hero bigger. No, that didn't help. What if we... Oh, we can make the flames in the corner bigger. Ooh. Yeah, so basically, if I shrink these, if I shrink these fires, we get like little patterns. I don't know what they mean. Little logos. Oh, I'll tell you what they do mean. I, I feel like I do. If I shrink the fire in the middle, that reveals those. Okay, so we're going to get a pattern, I think. So I guess if we shrink everything, so all four corners and then in the middle, so we can sort of see that one, then that one, then that one, then that one. Okay, so it's left, right, down, up. How do I tell the hero that, though? Oh, because look, when we when we do that, it switches. Okay, okay. So do I need to wait for them to go out to do the right order? Left, right, down, up? Yeah, I'll just switch them all like this. So yeah, that was the wrong code. So left, right, down, up is what we need to do. So left, right. And when he gets to the bottom, down. And then the final one is up. Hopefully... Oh, that was wrong. Maybe I'm going the wrong way around. Do we have to go anti-clockwise, maybe? Let's try that. No, that was wrong as well. Hmm. Well, not a clue how to work this one. I'm just going to brute force it. Sod it. Aha! Persistence beats resistance. <laughs> oh, that took actually not that long. I got quite lucky there, I think. All right, so we got the skull key. So go get that, mate. 
Nice one. Yeah, we got to go through the dark room. Sorry, mate. So we got to get up to the top somehow. Oh, it gives him a protective light. Okay, that's good. So I don't have to do anything. So key goes in up there. Door is opening. And oh, no. It's the Dark Lord. All right, so first off, let's... Let's shrink the hero. Oh, run away. Run away from the fireball. Can I shrink the fireball? No, I shrunk. I shrunk him. I didn't mean to shrink him. All right. What else do we have around, around the map? We've got little pots. Can't do anything with the fires. What about the actual... The butt... Oh, actually, what if I just... <laughs> How do I stop this projectile? It's, <laughs> it's just proper chasing after him. I've got no inventory or anything. Right, maybe when it goes around a pot. Now, I was hoping I could like get it into the pot, maybe. Maybe I could if I shrink it first, enlarge the pot, and then... No, it's nowhere near it. It's nowhere near it. Can't do anything with these pillars. What if I enlarge the pot and then enlarge the flame? Will it hit the... Oh, I did. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, next stage. Next stage. There's another fireball. Enlarge the fireball. So that explodes that pillar. Nice. So is that all we're doing? Smashing these pillars up, I guess. So <laughs> we're spinning around the middle now. So what if I enlarge the fireball again and then enlarge him? Yes. Oh, that did damage to him. Nice. All right, shrink the bombs. Shrink the bombs. Enlarge the hero as well. Oh, no, I just enlarged a bomb. Oh, no. Wait, that's fine. Oh, that did damage to him. Okay. <laughs> that's a complete accident. Oh, no spikes. Oh, I should have made him jump. I should have made him jump. All right, okay. So we go again. We go again. All right, I know what I'm doing this time. Speed running. That is what we're doing. Then we just enlarge that. Enlarge him. So we do small bomb there. And then large bomb up the top. So the small bomb goes off first. Which means we run away. And then that does damage to him. Nice. And then we need to get ready to jump over the spikes. So jump. Nice. All right, here he's hitting him. Make the hero bigger. Make him smaller. There you go. That's damage. Look at the damage bar. Okay, more spikes. More spikes. So jump over them again. All right, hero bigger. Enemy smaller. Yes, damage. Yes, we completed the boss. Ooh, and the door opened. So there's princess. There's the chest. So, oh, no, they're in love and it's badness. No, it's not beautiful. It's dangerous. We're falling into the abyss of death. All right, so we've just found out that the, the commentator, the French dude, he was in love once but he lost his partner. Deleted from the source code. Yes, maybe this is turning to like a revenge love story. Anyway, in the chest, we've got that. The glitchy thing. All right, so that's the glitch. We were trying to chase so that we can get home, but he's buggered off. I think you two, you're about to have a Titanic moment. Right, he's made some changes. He said the kids are going to love it. Oh, advertisement. Crunchy, crunchy. All right, close pop up. Oh, we're into like mobile game land now. Oh, no, I see money symbols. I think he's made it pay to win. Oh, yeah, unplayability scam. <laughs> money, money, money edition. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is we've gone full ea now so the legend of the secret ultimate clicker vip edition <laughs> deluxe four point two <laughs> and it's free of course it is no they're collecting my personal data <laughs> all right so let's start this up link your head face account oh no not these again allow this application to access your photos bank accounts dna <laughs> sequencing yeah sure it literally won't be long till this is reality by the way terms and conditions yeah no one reads no one reads them blah 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 <laughs> sure there's nothing bad in there access to the game is completely free the user may make in-game purchases to facilitate its progress but this is absolutely not mandatory as the game has been perfectly designed for fun and easy play for the very first minute <laughs> lol <laughs> <laughs> yep, definitely read all that and signing in blood. It's quite funny. I'm taking the mick out of these, but I actually love like clicker games and like. <laughs> yeah, so look, we need we need 150 coins for the alarm clock to wake him up. Uh, we have zero coins. So, oh, I can move this bag about. Oh, every time, I, okay, every time I click him, we get coins. Oh, I ran out. So we only had 75. Does that mean we've got to wait 24 hours? It usually does. Oh, there you go. The beds respawned. Okay, so we go again. We go again. 150 coins. Let's hit the alarm clock. Wake up. Oh, look, it's a, it's a Zelda ripoff. Is it Navi? Is that what it's called? All right, so Hero is awake. He's like, where's the furniture? Oh, no, look at his walking speed. we got to pay for that to upgrade it. I do love upgrading, though. Let's get some money. All right, so he has no furniture. we got to pay for it. Oh, I've just been told there's a shop. We need 250 coins to access the shop. But uh, then we'll be able to get in some shoes so we can move faster. Maybe I actually want to unlock his room. Like, is it bad? I actually, <laughs> I actually like games like this. Like, I would legitimately play this. So yeah, let's unlock his dresser. There you go. There's a dresser. Let's unlock the table. This is such a waste of money, but I can't help myself. Oh, look, now I can click these. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so we click the bed, then we click the barrel, and we click the table, then the dresser. And by the time we've got round, the bed should be back. Yeah, the bed's back in business. All right, screw this. I'm becoming a millionaire. I'll see you guys in like an hour. No, there's a limit. I can only have a thousand coins. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we'll unlock the shop and then we'll get some more money. Give me 
me money. Give me money. I've trained for hours for games like this. Okay, so now we're in the shop. Ooh, hero speed. 300 coins. I can afford that. All right, so coins up there. Let's just quickly get some more money because I'm addicted to this game already. I got 975. Oh, DLC required. <laughs> 500 coins. I mean, that's actually chump change for me because I've gone all out getting coins. All right, so quickly, before he leaves, before he leaves, get more... Oh, it's gone down to zero. You can't use outside coins inside or the other way around. Oh, it has actually dropped to zero. That's full. Okay, we got a pot that we can click. I get tired quickly when I'm away from home. Oh... Okay, so now we got a tap in it. Oh, man, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. <laughs> All right, let's get the other pot because then we have two pots we can get money out of. I'm going to get the barrel as well. Okay, so we've just unlocked the shop. Let's have a look in the shop. Oh, there you go. More energy for him. Okay, so let's buy that. So there you go. He's got the cereal. That was the cereal in the ad from earlier, by the way. So health bar increased just then. Yeah, we need the sword of life. It's a sacred sword. Blah, 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 blah. We got it. The cereal dwarfs. What? The path is blocked by a pile of... Oh, look. It looks like the strongest shape with the two bushes. The bushy balls. Right, we need to get rid of the pile of dirt, apparently. Can I pay? Surely I can pay. Oh, I found a loot box. Okay, this game is loot boxes now. It's gonna be addictive. What do we get? Please be a million. Please be a million. Please be a million. Come on, a million coins. We've got to get a million. Surely. Yes. Yes. Oh, you knob. Oh, so we get an advert for Crunchy Crunchy again. All right, so we've got to find a tool that could help us. Like a bulldozer or a shovel. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep doing the loot boxes because maybe if I get a million, I can afford... Oh, come on, that was so close. All right, our man's running out of energy again. We have to give him a click. But first, loot box. Come on, come on a million. Nah, no chance. Wasn't even close that time. All right, got to give him energy because he ran out. All right, come on a million. Come on a million. Nah, that's no good. That's no good. That's another advert. All right, we've maxed out on coins now. Can I Can I use them for anything? I don't know. There's a loot box. All right, come on. That's, that's actually a million. Oh, come on, game. I will not stop trying, though. I'll tell you that. Persistence beats resistance. <laughs> they are not words to live by, by the way. All right, ready, ready. I'm feeling lucky about this one. Oh, so close. I mean, surely they're not doing this on purpose, right? Surely it is actually possible to win. I don't know what we need. I don't know what we need. I reckon maybe something to do with the advert because there's literally nothing else I can do. So I'm not even trying to get a million this time. I'm trying to get the advert. No, no, no. Oh, phew. Okay. Oh, look, there's a spoon. Oh, I've got a spoon. Oh, I can dig. I can dig the dirt out with a spoon. Fill in the hole I've just made. Okay. What, what about I use money? All right. I filled... <laughs> I filled up the hole with money. All right, so he's gone across the money. Nice. Okay, so no lily pads this time. We've got these we can click on. Money. So I can see two lumps of dirt up there as well. So as soon as we get the ad, I assume we can spoon them. All right, loot box. Ooh, Minecraft cold and million. Well, that is million for sure. Oh, come on, game. Okay, so I can click this. I can hear cracking noises but I'm not seeing anything happen. Okay, I imagine we might need that to freeze the lake later on, maybe. I guess for now, we play it again and try and get the Minecraft ones. Oh, that was a fail. Right, there you go, there you go. Minecraft. My oh, no, a million. All right, Minecraft. Yes, we got Minecraft. Oh, no, Ninecraft, sorry. Nine, because there's nine of them. <laughs> what do we What do we do here? Oh, we can, we can hit the... Oh, we can hit the letters. Oh, so we can smash them into the pieces, and then we just got to craft something out of them, I assume. No idea. Oh, is it going to be... Is that a pickaxe? That's a pickaxe. So we just fill in all the pieces like that. I wish Minecraft was actually Minecraft. I'd be way better at it. So there, we have a pickaxe. Nice. Oh, and I guess I can use this to smash the cold. Thankfully, I'm very good at landing on cold. Really? Okay, so now pickaxe it. Oh, oh dear. We smash his head. Okay, so now we grab ice cubes. And oh, we can... We, okay, we're cooling down the sea with them. I just want to get to a thousand coins first because I'm addicted. Okay, now the final one. The lake's frozen over. So once we click to give him some energy, he should just be able to walk across there. Nice. Was it worth saving the coins? No, it wasn't. We've got zero again. Okay, the sword isn't here. Well, don't worry. That was a fake sword anyway. Okay, we're gonna have to pay to get these swords. The tri-blade, the snake blade, the vintage blade, or the spin blade. There are a few barrels kicking about. I'm gonna unlock all of these because, again, if you can unlock it, I will unlock it because these games are made to inject chemicals into my brain that makes me say I'm doing a good thing. So we got all the money. Let's go for tri-blade first. Ooh, is that the right one? I don't believe it. Three swords for the price of one. All right, he's going to try it. Oh, it just broke. It just broke. Oh, there's something new in the shop. What's in the shop? Oh, the legendary sword. 9 dollars 
That's actual money. All right, well, let's try the spin blade. Is that the right one? No, it broke. Snake, oh, that looks like a dollar sign. The snake blade. All right, he's going to try it anyway. Oh, it broke. It broke. May as well try the vintage blade. No, it broke. They all broke. No, although, ooh, ooh, what if I get the vintage blade and then I shove that on there? Isn't that like a dollar sign? It does a dollar sign of three things. No, I don't know. Uh, running out of ideas here. I mean, could I? I can drag stuff. Oh, can I make these dollars? Yes. Oh, now the yes. Yes. Oh, okay. We got it. We got it. I tried like everything. I thought it was like the word. I was like, is that wisp or whip or spree? I wasn't even. Yeah. Okay. Now we got money. Now we got money. So now we can just, we can just buy the legendary sword. The sword of life is on the stand. Yeah. Pull it out, mate. Pull it out. Yes. All right. So it's much heavier than the others. Yes. It slices the grass. Okay. We're good. We're good. No, oh, I just walked straight into the lake. You silly boy. Wait, what's this? Oh, we start again when we die. Oh, don't say we start again. Daily energy bar completed. Three diamonds to continue. And it's, te oh, it's 20 quid for 10 diamonds. Can I just mine the diamond? Oh, I just mined the diamond out. <laughs> nice. All right, so there's one. Oh, there's a diamond in the sword. There you go. I'll have some of that. Thank you. Where's the final diamond? Is it? In the rock? Yeah, it is. Sweet. Okay, we're back in. We're back in. Okay, so we're back in the main room. At least we got the furniture unlocked this time. He's not going to walk slow again, is he? Oh, I still got the sword of life. And he's walking fast. Okay, good. Good. So slice through the bushes. Take on the boss. Oh, the boss has a bridge in front of him. All right, pretty sure the only way to beat a boss is to click on coins. So we can lower the bridge for 50 quid. All right, and then we're sort of fighting. But this time I can't make them bigger or smaller. What if I raise the bridge with me on it? Do I, like... Fly over him or... Whoa! <laughs> Where are we going to end up? He's not sure. All right, we're there. Oh, he just bashed us back. So what if I do the same, but maybe I don't buy the barrel behind? All right, so sorry, Harry. You're going flying again. So then we landed there. Yes. Oh, no. Okay, probably something to do with the with the timing of the bridge. So let's raise it. I put the barrel behind. When we go flying, what if I then lower the bridge? Then oh, I move that way. Okay, so now he's on the bridge. Can I raise the bridge so he goes flying? See you later, mate. Uh, it doesn't look like he's coming back down. All right, so we're finally at the temple. It's not blocked. We don't need bombs or anything this time, although there are bombs to buy. Maybe we do. Well, we're going to go in anyway. And then season pass required. One million coins. Oh. All right, yeah, let's get to work. Let's get clicking all these barrels. I believe in us. If we just unlock all of these, then we'll get there in no time. Oh, look, and we got a loot box. So here's our chance at a million. Yes, a million. Oh, we get an advert. Rapapa the paper. <laughs> I wonder if I... Okay, so I laid the bomb down when he was leaning. So does that mean... Oh, it did actually work. It did actually work. Okay, so we'll close that then. We've now got this guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? Yeah, I'll keep collecting money because we need a million, obviously. we got another loot box. Let's see if we were to go to a million. Yes. Oh, you know. Uh, right. Well, annoyingly, the legit way, we're maxed out. We got a thousand coins. So we're going to have to do another method. I was hoping I could just sit clicking these pots for a few hours, but got to solve a puzzle, I guess. So loot box. What is that one? Please. Please, paper. <laughs> is that a toilet cube? <laughs> There's hand. He wants toilet paper. Oh, can I give him... Papa the wrapper or the, the non-version? Oh, toilet plunge. Oh, nice. I hope it's been washed. Okay, so we've got toilet plunger. Oh, can I make the arrow stop? Yes, we got a million. All right, nice. So now we can unlock that. Give him energy, give him energy. Okay, so we're going in. And if you want to know what's inside, boost the like button so the video does well. And I'll do another episode. But for now, I'll say peace, love. And why are free-to-play games so addictive? Bye.